Kevin Owens versus Kalisto match between the two uh, champions was um, absolutely crazy. Um, and now we're going to get to see another relatively long match. Uh, if you missed NXT, we crowned a new NXT women or uh, NXT champion, not women's champion, um, though she was in competition against Eva Marie. And you'll be surprised that one was one crazy match. The botch queen. Uh, Took it to Asuka. That's for damn sure. Um, and the Uranagi there. And now Bailey going for the pinfall, but Sasha Banks right there. But uh, let me tell you what, Raw was absolutely entertaining. And oh man. And that's that's the Terminus. Uh, that's uh, Damian Sandow's old move. Of course, uh, Rip. Rip Damian Sandow's uh, WWE career. I, I am so depressed about that. I was a huge fan of Damian Sandow. Um, so I, I'm disappointed that uh, he ended up getting the, getting the future endeavored, as you will. So uh, it's too bad. It's too bad. We're moving on here. And here comes Emma. And Emma now. And Emma. Oh man, that's a that's a nice move by Who's Emma. That's gonna wear out. What a predicament. You don't need to be a physician. <laughs> yeah, rip sand out for sure. But uh, Emma, that's a that was a very good move. She's having a real hard time getting back to her feet. And now Bailey. This could be big. Bailey's the last one standing so far. And now Bailey. Oh man, if you've seen the Edge and Christian show, she you know that uh, oh, Bailey nice can use that kendo, kendo stick pretty well. Uh, she's, 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 no she's hugging, she's hugging her opponents with the kendo stick. If, you, if you've watched the, the Edge and Christian right show, uh, that totally reeks of awesomeness, you'd understand the little reference. I don't know if you have, but if you haven't, I'd suggest you were watching that because that's hella good. Oh, Sasha Banks, her feet are on the ropes and a kick out by Bailey anyway. So Sasha trying to get an unfair advantage on Bailey, and it uh, didn't pan out. And now uh, here goes Emma. Emma planting, planting Bailey, and now Sasha is the only one standing. And will it, yep, she goes for the kendo stick, and now Sasha banks, and Emma reverses it there, and Emma just decides that she doesn't want to use the kendo stick and now a double team a double team by Bailey and Sasha who would have thought that would happen and now Bailey tossing tossing Sasha out of the ring and I and now she's just targeting Sasha now so it looks like Bailey might might have some issues I guess uh with Sasha Banks is a lot of and uh, right man, Sasha Banks and Bailey going up. to the outside and there's a those close here. fists to the face by Bailey and Emma starting to get back up. There's a I'm Hurricane sure Rana by uh, Sasha Banks and Emma looks like she's going to join the party. No countouts, not today, so why fast. not? And now all that. three nice superstars move. outside Look the ring. Now that's how you land a well placed strike on And now yeah, shots to the right skull the by Sasha you know, Banks and Sasha Banks like turning her attention to Emma. And now Emma today, planting Sasha Banks on the uh, on the ramp, the entrance ramp. Quick thinking to avoid that. There's the clothesline. Well the trick sometimes when you get outside the and ring. Now is so Sasha Banks the and Emma going after each other. And Siguri. So Emma thought she that she blocked it, but uh, no can do there. And now uh, targeting the arm of Emma is Sasha Banks. And now all three women are back on their feet. As Emma and Sasha just going after one another. And now Bailey going after Emma. And there's the running bulldog. There's a running bulldog by Bailey. Remember, the, a shot at the women's championship is on the line. Whoever wins this match will face Charlotte and Natalia. The new women's champion, Natalia and Charlotte, have already entered inside the elimination chamber. Who will join them? One of these three women will. The other two won't have another shot at it. So this is very, very important for each of these women as they want to have a shot. Bailey making her main roster debut. Emma has never had a shot for the women's championship yet. And Sasha Banks would love to have another shot 
at that match. This match has taken Again, so much this is a semi-interactive universe mode, so if you want to see any in particular this matches, make sure you comment well, on YouTube you under one of the videos. The Let me know what kind of matches you want to see. Take, be objects. sure to take into account wins and losses Man, of really other superstars. Um, yeah, like, perfect. for instance, Stardust defeated Dean Ambrose in the first match on Monday Night Raw, if you can believe it. Oh, Ambrose wait, coming off of a win against Jericho at Extreme Rules, and then, boom, he loses to Stardust of all, uh, all superstars. I love Stardust, by the way. It's just kind of surprising to see him win against Ambrose. So if you want to see any in particular matches, let me know stipulations, what kind of title they should go after. We got a lot of number one contendership matches that we need participants for. Who will fight John Cena on Monday Night Raw tomorrow? Who do you want to see fight him for a shot at the WWE World Heavyweight title? Let me know. I need to know these things because I want to make sure that you guys are at least having a say. Because if I'm just picking all the matches, you might be getting bored of it. You might say, oh, I don't want to see, you know, Sasha versus Becky Lynch. I want to see this other match instead. So you got to let me know what you want. So now Emma and Bailey. well, it looked like Emma and Bailey were about to team up on Sasha, but then Bailey hit Emma in the back of the head, and Emma staggering backwards, and now Emma and Sasha double-teaming Bailey. And now Emma going for the pinfall, and Sasha immediately breaks it up. And this match has been going on for a while now. You've got to wonder if fatigue is going to be a factor starting around now. Will... Well, the, they start getting really tired of competing for so long, and which which woman will come out victorious in this matchup? Um, as I said in previous episodes, the main event tonight, Sami Zayn will take on uh, a mystery opponent, which we'll find out once the loading screen comes on. Um, and the winner will face will join Kevin Owens and The Miz. For the Intercontinental Championship, the new champion Kevin Owens will have to defend it in one of the hardest to win matches in the WWE. Champion is at a complete and utter disadvantage when it comes to Elimination Chamber. And now here we go, Emma and Sasha double teaming and now, there we go. That's the bank statement, right? I don't know, because I, I see it, and I'm thinking crossface, uh, like the yes lock and stuff, and I'm like, wait, wait, this is the bank statement, that's right. I'm like, yes lock! Uh, I gotta say, I wasn't a huge fan of Daniel Bryan, but I mean, you know, he was, he, he was entertaining at times. But other times he got super annoying. I, mean, I might have an unpopular opinion, but... Oh, and here comes Bailey. Bailey rolling up Sasha. One, two, three, and that's it. That's the match. Bailey has done it. Bailey is just rolling up Sasha Banks, and it's over. What an incredible match. Bailey is going to the chamber. She wins her debut match on SmackDown. Her debut main roster match. She beats Sasha and Emma. Unbelievable matchup uh, ending up here with the win for Bailey. So that was absolutely incredible. And this is just the first two matches. We've got four more to go. Um, but Bailey going to the chamber. She will take on Natalia and Charlotte. Uh, in the Women's Championship Elimination Chamber match. Absolutely unreal match uh, there. Absolutely incredible. Um, what a debut. Yeah, that is for sure. An excellent debut. And now we get to see this. It's, a, it's not exactly a rematch, but uh, Goldust lost one hell of a fight against Eric Rowan on Raw. Um, Braun Strowman had thrown a chair into the ring which we can only assume he had tried to distract the referee but failed to to try and get Eric Rowan to use the steel chair. So this is kind of a rivalry building up. And so now we get the other two superstars in a match as R-Truth will take on Braun Strowman here. Um, uh, th this rivalry has just begun, but let me tell you what, it's looking absolutely uh, rough 
for Golden Truth. Uh, if Unfortunately, uh, only a select number of people actually saw Extreme Rules, and because I did not click the automatically archive button, I wasn't able to save Extreme Rules, so you didn't get to see all the matches, but Breezango, Tyler Breeze, and uh, Fondango defeated Golden Truth again. <sighs> and so Breezango moved on, and Golden Truth got stuck in this matchup with Eric Rowan and uh, Braun Strowman in Eric Rowan's corner, and then the steel chair incident, and all of a sudden, we've got this kind of hate brewing between these two tag teams so perhaps we'll see this tag team matchup at elimination chamber let me know what you guys think uh if you guys want to see this matchup happen but here's two of the four members of the wyatt family unfortunately bray wyatt and luke harper are injured right now so this is basically the entire uh healthy wyatt family coming down to the ring but uh yeah that's I, oh I would not want to be standing there watching think. them come to the you, ring. I'm glad that I Golden Truth is coming out second uh, right here. But uh, Golden Truth, ha since they became a tag team, they have yet to win. An individual action or tag team action, they have not yet won any matches. And it's a little depressing, to be honest with you. I like the kind of idea that they're going with. I hope that they make Golden Truth into a more serious tag team in real life because uh, right now they're just kind of a joke and I'm like, oh, they lost. Boo. Okay. So I'm hoping that they, they kind of build them into a more formidable tag team to where, you know, they're, they're not just kind of a comedy duo. But here we go. So there's Braun Strowman who will be in the match against R-Truth and I I don't know. I have seen some crazy shit. I, I okay. So I had played this universe mode before, right? And it was CPU versus CPU every single match. That way, I had no control over who win wins. I have no bias that could interfere with these matches. <laughs> so we had Braun Strowman win a number one contendership match for Santino Morella's ECW Television and Championship. And Santino won with about 19 overall points below Braun Strowman. So I've had some crazy shit happen in this game. So I have also Heath Slater defeated Brock Lesnar one-on-one -on -one inside Hell in a Cell. So this is what I say. When anything can happen, I am not lying. Anything can and will happen in this universe mode. So be sure you could have someone that is you would never think would win. You could have Heath Slater. You want to see Heath Slater in a WWE Championship number one contenders match against John Cena. You type that in on a comment. I make it happen. You can and feel the electricity. there is always right the possibility the Heath Slater wins. Kalisto, one when, one. when I played this the previous time, Kalisto beat a returning John Cena oh, at Extreme Rules for the U.S. title, even though Kalisto was about 10 overall awesome. points less than John and Cena. So anything can ring. happen, and I highly recommend um, that, you, you, that you suggest hey, any matches, because anybody can win. So here comes R-Truth, and R-Truth actually in control here. here. Truth is and uh, the only problem is that Braun Strowman is kind of enormous, so uh, you can't really, like, lock up at the beginning, you have to just go at him. Um, and this big guy is hard as fuck to take down. Today, I tell you what. Um, but Universe Mode and CPU hard. versus CPU, anything can happen. We, oh, I have had titles so change true. hands more often than when they've stayed in the same person's hands nice playing Universe Mode, CPU oh, versus CPU. So if by any chance we get to see a title change hands over and over and over again, I apologize, but... Uh, I'm going to have to start taking number one uh, contender rematch clauses the out of the equation of if they trade the title well, more than like three times because it can happen and it has happened and I don't want to just see the same match over and over and over again. So number one contendership rematch clauses, uh, I, I, I'll do it two times. If, for instance, the Vaude Villains upset the New Day and won the tag team titles at Extreme Rules. So they are the current reigning tag team champions. If at Elimination Chamber the New Day win, then the next day on Raw, the Vaude Villains win, then I'm 